Hey guys, this is Shay from Stoked on Fishing. To thank you for your support, we're giving away some more free swag. T-shirts, hats, rods, reels. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button. And for a second chance to win, leave us a comment down below. Ah, Alaska. What an adventure to start. We got settled in at Alaskan Anglers Inn, located in beautiful Gustavus, Alaska. After getting nice and comfortable with our accommodations, we were off and fishing the very next day. Halibut was the name of the game on day one, with our entire group going bendo. Today we hit the halibut grounds just for a little bit while Mother Nature calms down for us in the afternoon, allowing us to get outside and fish for salmon and all kinds of rockfish. The things you get to see is that of National Geographic, bald eagles, orca, and humpback whales all over the place, and then the fishing starts. Stoked On Fishing is brought to you by Okuma Fishing Tackle, a global leader in the design and manufacturing of high quality fishing tackle. Okuma, inspired fishing. And by El Dorado Sport Fishing. Designed with comfort in mind, she offers 85 feet of space for fishermen who want to get away from the crowds and have some fun in the sun. Book your fishing adventure today. And by Fishing Nosara, the best sport fishing in Costa Rica. Far removed from commercial fishing lanes and off-beaten tourist paths, the Nosara area is Costa Rica's best kept fishing secret. We even got the little kids out here too, it's awesome. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Good morning, Elliot. <laughs> here we go. These guys look experienced now. Yeah, yeah. He's got the studs here. This guy's coming down hot. He's always working. <laughs> that doesn't stop. Real quick, we got some weather today, so um, I'd like to go outside and fish salmon. That's the best thing you can do here is take king salmon fishing. But we're going to go out and look for halibut, I think, first thing. And if we can poke our nose out to the outside outer coast, we're going to. That's what I'd really like to do. on the bottom your bait elevated off the bottom any any type of bait down there the herring's always gonna get bit first double hook that stay going there we're 180 feet down and so you're just gonna drop it all you can see how slack the current is we don't have much angle on our lines yet there it is. So we're ready to fish. And when I'm fishing, I like to sit here and I like to bounce my sinker. And I just put it on my leg and I just kind of teeter-totter it just like this. And obviously we're fishing circle hooks. Just let them eat it and just start reeling. And as long as you can feel that sinker on the bottom, and you'll see me do this a lot, I'll come over here and I'll just grab your line and I'll lift it. And I want to see that bounce. I want to see that sinker sure tapping. If you're not on the bottom, just let some line out, let it hit check it and you're good to go. Yeah, kind of bouncing and it seems like we're sitting on some rocks so Ooh. the seeker will sit on it and then bounce down the rock you know sometimes it'll okay. swell it'll come up and then bounce down the rock. Gotcha. So you just got to be careful and be, be on it and uh, you'll know when the, oh, when the yeah. fish is hitting. Yeah. Woo! Got our first fish. Bettina is always the lucky one. <laughs> Whoa! Here we go. <laughs> Woo! He's fighting it. Mine's getting bit. Mine's getting bit. Mine's getting bit. Girl power! Look over here, Elliot. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> you see this? <laughs> okay, let's do this. Come on. Yeah. 
a little big to keep, but I'll grab it. Hear, hear that? A little big to keep. <laughs> Cattle wrestling. I'll be wrestling. Oh, good job. Right. Good, job. Yeah. good job. Right on, Johnny. It's about a 70 pounder. <laughs> there he is, there's color. There's no shortage of stupid questions, and I've been asking a lot of them. Jared's been very patient with all of us, hasn't he, Greg? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, my, one of my stupid questions was, I know you have islands here, but I asked, is there any bears on these islands? So, uh, most of the islands do have bears, and weird thing is, so this is Chichkov. It's part of the ABC's Admiralty Island, Baranoff Island, and Chichkov Island, and they are three of the most densely grizzly bear populated islands in southeast Alaska. And there's also black bears on all the islands as well, but a lot of grizzes. So do you see them occasionally walking the banks? Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You do see them quite often walking around on the banks. I have yet to see one swim, but uh, okay. they you do never do had it. one try to get in the boat swimming. No, under... no okay. never had one do that. Okay. <laughs> you wanna... and what's the shallowest possible that you guys fish these halibut? Well, I mean, you can fish in 60 to 80 feet of water. I mean, and there's always the possibility of catching something. I mean, technically, I, I like fishing somewhere between 100 and 180. Some people will go 250. Some people will go 300. You know, it's just it's all kind of based on the fisherman and the captain. The ham bone, baby. Ooh, ooh. 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 Yeah, he... I think, I think it'll be hooked. Yeah, that circle hook, the way he just went ground, ground on down, ground down on him. Nice. I'll start walking backwards, and I'll keep telling you to reel, reel, and I'll tell you when to stop. And then I'll lead her up to the boat and try to grab her by her little handle there and bring her in. Looks like a good fish. It's going to be a big one. Can be a little bit bigger than a charter howl. It'll be in that slot. But yeah, guiding it back and forth, steady pump, steady reel. Bringing her up in the current. Down, reel down a little bit. Good boy. Fishing. That's it. We try to get her in the boat Greg, to take a picture. Right, yeah, on, brother. Right, on, brother. right on, man. That was great. Thanks, brother. That hey, for fun. sure. Hey, good that job. Thank you. That is a Whoa. draw. 
is one gnarly fish. One more time. I said that was only about 40 inches bigger than the biggest halibut I've ever caught in my life. <laughs> yeah, what did you tell me earlier? <laughs> That's the, yeah, legal size is it. Yeah, legal size. What is that in Orange County in, in California? 20? 21 inches. 21, yeah. Yep. So yeah. You just quadrupled. 40 inches bigger. <laughs> Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, at Stoked on Fishing, for daily photos, videos, trip updates, and much, much more. After catching some halibut to start the day, we got a call from some friends on the outside that said the weather was decent to fish, so we all agreed to change it up and go chase some salmon and rockfish to round out the day. Where are they at, Jared? Right here in front of me. Yeah, I just got the baby. I got so lucky on that. Whoa. Where do you want to go for a swim? These ones are a little bit more chill. Right, oh, he's, coming our, he's right coming our way. He's coming our way. Wow, they're coming our way. Another awesome thing uh, I wanted to come to Alaska for is see a killer whale uh, live in person. We just saw a pod of them swim by. It was really, really cool. You've seen orcas before, right? Awesome, man. Unbelievable. Yeah. At first, I thought it was a dolphin because it, it was a baby, but. Dude, it came out of the water, dude. Right, yeah. So basically, we saw a pod of maybe 10 to 15 whales there. Um, the one on the outside that you were just filming out there with the big fin, that's the most like the matriarch male. He stays around the outside of the pod, just kind of watching out for him. And his fin is always really tall and at about a 90 degree angle. And the females, uh, their fin looks more like a skeg on a surfboard, a little bit more curved and pointy. They're kind of the king of the ocean out yeah. here, so always really cool to see. Yeah. Good question. Yeah. What coastline are we on right now? What bay or where? What well, basically, we're, we are fishing Deer Harbor, which is out on the Gulf of Alaska. Okay. okay. That's what we're doing. Okay. We're about a two hour run from, from the end where we started. Tail. Wow! Oh, that was a great shot. Well, what do we got there? I don't know. Just keep real. Oh, it's oh. black. We got a black on. Okay. A black what? That's a black bass. You can just horse that thing in. <laughs> they don't reel in anymore. Got a nice black bass. Oh, this is what these things look like. That's a, that's a nice black. The guy, we'll throw him in the bucket. Throw him down there. Black bass. Be careful, those things have some gnarly spines. Wasn't what I was expecting from a black bass, but I wasn't really expecting anything from a black, black bass because I wasn't expecting to catch a black bass. Yeah, I haven't caught a back bass either. <laughs> Tail. Wow! Oh, that was a great shot. 20 feet there. And then uh, I'm going to need, I'm going to grab this reel, keep your thumb on that spool. Sure. Let this one out about 20 to 30 feet behind the boat. Okay. And then keep that tip pointed behind the boat. Okay. And what we're going to do is you're going to keep semi-tension on that rod while I let this down. But don't use too much tension or it'll pop the clip off. Okay. Here we go. A little bit more tension than that. And stop. Well done, Greg. Thank you. I'm a professional. And so what you're looking for right here is if this rod all of a sudden just goes straight, you want to get on this and reel as fast as you can until you feel fish. Once you feel fish, you're going to fight it like a regular, just like a giant rainbow trout. Let it take drag. Let it fight. Don't reel real hard. Don't pump it like a halibut and just try not to horse it in. Let it let it come to you, you know, and you just nice, nice yeah. slow reel. Dude. You seen it, Ryan? Dude, you pulled it out, Ryan. That's it. Something on there. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> and, that, and that's a top rod. You've got to be kidding. I, I don't I know if that's a salmon. Say, it doesn't, doesn't seem like a salmon, but it could be. 
going to say the same thing. I was looking at it going, what's, is that supposed to be doing that? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's going to be a black, but. Yep, just nice, easy oh, reel. And just watch your drag. Just. Ryan's on now. Yeah, to just make sure it's tight enough that you're getting line on them. Yeah. Got something on there. That rod right there was at uh, 20 feet above that, so about 100 feet. Oh, we, okay. we just hooked that fish at. Okay. Whatever it is. I'm not seeing that quite much. You're not feeling any head shakes or nothing? Yeah, no. uh, yeah, yeah, there's head shakes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But if the drag's a little loose, should he? Yeah, yeah, just tighten up a okay. little bit. Okay. It could be a nice king. It could be a nice king. Yeah, we're no rush here. No rush. No. Now that's a net. Get this down just in case. Let's see what we got. Could no, be a nice king, could be a halibut, could be a black. Hey, no black. That's pulling too hard to be a black. I want you to walk backwards and I'm going to take the spot where you are. Yeah, because we got her coming up here. Okay, we're leading it. It's a nice king. It's a nice king. Okay. Just, just nice and easy. Pull it. Don't ever give it slack. Pull it right to the boat. Pull it right to the boat. Come on. Come on. Oh. Still on. Don't reel up anymore. Bam! Woo! Yeah! That's the fast action, guys! Woo! Look at that! First two seconds. Not yet. Not yet. I'm going to get lines in the water first. Money. Money. Yeah, that thing wasn't getting off. Here you go, man. Hey, congratulations there, Ryan. Nice. Go ahead. Just hold, let me get this cat. Watch it. It's got teeth. It's got teeth, Ryan. It's got yeah, teeth. it's got teeth. Yeah. yeah, look at this thing, dude. Wow, my first salmon. Cool. Wow, dude. Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah, dude. First king salmon, baby. That was awesome. Mm. Thank Woo! you, baby. When you measure a king salmon, you go from the tip of the nose to the very tip of the tail. And we got 31 inches. That is a nice keeper king. Right like How close? Okay. Oh yeah, right there. Deer Harbor king and date. And then we'll be all legit. Yeah. This is just uh, because it's, a, it's regulated so hard. What you got to do is make sure that you write uh, what you caught and the date you caught it. This is telling them he caught his one fish for the day and that we know that he caught his one fish. Okay, here we go. Poor JT stuck in here driving the boat. He wants to catch a fish. I'm letting these guys haven't caught one yet. Correct. Because? You and I have. Yeah, we already got our <laughs> king salmon. <laughs> Team effort with this salmon simple. fishing, huh? Yeah, it's absolutely. We were talking about it before we even got the first salmon in the boat. Yep. What kind of whales are those, Jared? Humpbacks. Humpback, okay. Humpback. All right, so within our, oh, within our first hour, we've already seen orcas and humpback whales. I mean, how cool is that? And caught a salmon. Ryan's first salmon, which is all time awesome. Thank you, Alaskan Anglers Inn, for making that happen. Um, that couldn't have gone any better as planned. So, so far, so good. Starting up day two orcas, salmon, and humpbacks. Salmon fishing for now. We're gonna go out see if we can't hook into a few rock fish, and uh, after that, hopefully we'll head into Elephant Cove and go check out that place. Okay, sounds good. Bigger plastic, maybe on that. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's a little better one. Yeah, that never mind. Might be a nice linger. Yep. 
The link the oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, get him, get him in the boat! Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it's the biggest one I've ever caught. Yeah. That's a little over 35 inches. Man, that's yeah, get some photos. Yeah. Wow. That's a dragon for you. And this is exactly what I was looking for. So you can come down here, Alaskan anglers in, and catch stuff like that. That's my biggest link caught I've ever caught. We're definitely letting this go because it's over the uh, limit, right? Over the slot limit, over yeah. Over the slot limit. But that is an excellent stud. There you go. Uh. All right, this is what's really cool, is letting one of these monsters go, man. Look at the size of this thing. All right. Let's go. Are we going right? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> That is a giant lizard, dude. Nice fish. What'd Those are the dragons, man. Dragon, straight That's dragon. dragon. All right. We're not done just yet. Lots more fishing to come next week with full speed rock fishing on light tackle, and we get into some salmon. The biggest salmon of the year for Alaskan Anglers in for 2019. Stoked on Fishing is brought to you by Okuma Fishing Tackle, a global leader in the design and manufacturing of high quality fishing tackle. Okuma, inspired fishing and by El Dorado Sport Fishing. Designed with comfort in mind, she offers 85 feet of space for fishermen who want to get away from the crowds and have some fun in the sun. Book your fishing adventure today. And by Fishing Nosara, the best sport fishing in Costa Rica. Far removed from commercial fishing lanes and off-beaten tourist paths, the Nosara area is Costa Rica's best kept fishing secret.